in spite of what you may have guessed from the name Greco-Roman wrestling, has absolutely nothing to do with the wrestling of ancient Greece or Rome. Ancient Greek wrestling wasn't really wrestling, it was grappling, with chokes, submissions and everything even there. These are the rules of the ancient sport pale. No intentional hitting or kicking is permitted. No gouging the eyes or biting is permitted since even the pancration doesn't allow this. It is at the discretion of the referee whether or not twisting the fingers with the intention of forcing the opponent to concede defeat is permitted. Grasping the gen genitals is prohibited. All other holds intended to persuade the opponent to concede defeat through pain or fear are permitted and are an integral part of the contest. Infractions shall be punished by immediate uh, whipping by the referee until the indesirable behavior is stopped. Three points must be scored to win the match. A point can be scored in any of three ways, the opponent's back touching the ground at any time by, the opponent tapping or in some other way making clear that he concedes defeat through pain or fear by the opponent making contact with ground outside the allocated wrestling match ground with any part of his body or by being lifted and carried out. After scoring a point the opponent must be given time to rise on his feet and a few times more before the wrestling may continue. The match is both started and ended at the signal of the referee. The referee can at any time stop the match if he believes a point has been scored but the contestants have uh, continued to wrestle unaware of the point having been scored. The referee or uh, other officials in charge of the contest, if other officials are presiding, shall resolve any dispute the contestants have other scoring, and uh, their decision shall be final. The resting ground shall be a large square, 28.5 um, by 28.5 meters, or any other size determined by the holders of the games and it shall be all of sand of earth. The contestants shall begin the match at the center of the wrestling ground outside of each other as touching range, uh, the precise distance being at the discretion of the referee. All other more specific details are at the discretion of the officials presiding over the games. In Greco Roman wrestling you are not even allowed to grab the leg. A more reasonable match up uh, would be with no gi Brazilian Jiu Jitsu fighters that more or less have the same rules. The no gi fighter would stomp the ancient by the way because more advanced techniques, more scientific training, the world's greatest champions are the best among the 7 billions less than a million some more fun facts. Greco-Roman wrestling was actually invented by France. The actual Greco-Roman wrestling died out once Rome banned combat sports alongside the gladiator. Another question, how would the ancient Greek wrestlers do against the wrestlers of today? To answer that question we need to know whose rules will be followed. The ancient Greeks never had weight classes or time limits, a match could last hours. Their rules were similar to today, as in three falls spinning an opponent's shoulders to the ground were needed for a win. But today breaking an opponent's fingers to win wouldn't fly. Since there were no weight divisions, powerful opponents would easily overwhelm lighter, skillful opponents. Imagine a wrestler today going up against Mil of Croton who reportedly prepared by lifting a grown-up bull every day. Another question rising up. If you uh, like watching a gay wrestling, are you really gay? Highly unlikely. Consider American football is also just as much, if not more, homoerotic. 
grown men wearing tight clothes grabbing and tackling each other to get control of something resembling a testicular a ball. This is, this is true of many contact sports, basketball and rugby come to my mind, but much more in football. So no, doesn't make you gay. Admiring the wrestler's physique doesn't make you gay either. Recognizing that certain activities are homoerotic also doesn't make you a gay.